Hey, this is Kevin on 509 and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to start by making bronze dust. I don't think I've done that on camera before. Uh, that's just three copper dust and one tin dust for two bronze dust. Uh, we're also going to make a redstone engine, which we're actually not going to use, but that's fine. Um, we need the bronze dust because we're making a fermenter this episode. The fermenter is going to be used to turn the the saplings from the, uh, what's it called, the Steve's cart, uh, cart into biomass. So here's the recipe for the fermenter. Um, and we're just, because biomass can be used in engines and it can be turned into biofuel, and that's really cool, and we're going to use that stuff. Uh, this is a liquid duct. We're going to use that in the machine. Actually, it's a lot of them, but... Um, this this thing here is going to be an energy conduit. Uh, we're going to need those to... Well, we don't need them, but they make moving around power easier. Uh, here we see we're making molten redstone, and here we're actually making compost, because, yeah, I was like, I'm going to need this eventually, and it's taking forever with the Magma Crucible. Uh, here's the tank. We're actually going to make more of those. But first, let's show how this works. Um, it puts the molten redstone in the empty energy conduits. And we get out. Do, 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 do. Um, come on. Full redstone energy conduits, which we're going to need. Uh, here we go. We're going to put these underneath this, so to connect these things. So, one, two, three. Then we're going to take our crescent hammer. Uh, yeah, crescent hammer. Oh, we need to move the crescent hammer first. So we need to turn, take the crescent hammer and then turn that around. Uh, you'll notice that this is the GY for that. Um, we're gonna put the tank here, maybe? I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, it just doesn't work. Um, as you notice this, I can only have it facing one way and I don't know how that'll work, so. Yeah, I just want this to be exclusively input to the other thing. So, we're gonna put this here, I suppose. That'll work. And then, yeah, just testing the fermenter. Uh, you'll notice that I have this with some water in it. And you'll also notice that I put an engine, a lever down on the liquiduct next to the thing. And that was actually, have I? Do I even need that? Yes, I do. So here we're making this into biomass. Um, you'll notice we're running out of water pretty quickly. Which means we're going to need one of these, an octopus accumulator. We're also going to use this for the steam engine as well, because it'll just make my life easier in general. So here it is, and I can put a liquid duct in it, and it fills up with water, and now I can't connect it to the engine. Why can't I connect it to the engine? Right, uh, how do I remove this? Uh, I, that's not working. I, I need the crescent hammer, don't I? Yeah, I need the crescent hammer. Okay. Liquid duct? Uh, maybe, maybe here? And uh, no. How does... Th no, still need the crescent hammer. Thank you. Okay, so if I put it down last, it works. Fair enough. Just once it fills up with water, it can't be connected. Anyway, now we've got it working, so that's the end of the episode. I'll see you guys next time, so see ya!